All right, man. So basically, TCB just put the chapter out out mad early again, bro. Like they put it out, I think 10 minutes ago or something. Bro, they got to like let people know when they're going to drop the chapters early, bro. Like let us know. Can you let the content creators know? So we ain't got to, you feel me? Hurry up and try to, you know what I'm saying? Put a review together. Like, all right, damn. Like I'm expecting it to come out at like 2, 3 a.m. I'm thinking I got time. I have no time. No time, but I'm grateful though. I'm grateful that y'all are doing it and getting it out early. Um, you know, I mean, it is what it is, bro. But but we're here today for a chapter 1043 review. I'm gonna do a one take Drake. Uh, I'm not cutting out any type of mistakes. I don't feel like it. Uh, I don't feel like waiting on doing that. Um, I'm just gonna do this. We're gonna talk about it. <laughs> That's what's gonna be. But first and foremost, if you need a chapter link, man, in my pinned comment, there will be a chapter link. Well, not a chapter link in my pinned comment, but there will be a link to my Discord. And in my announcements tab in the Discord will be the chapter link. So if you need a chapter link, that is where it's at. Check the pinned comment, join the Discord to get that. Make sure you like the video, turn on your post notifications and subscribe if you want more content like this. Let's get straight into it, man. So first and foremost, bro, we got to talk about the, the the cover page real quick, bro. Just, re just real quick, like. Now, um... We've been following the cover stories. You know, we've been seeing, you know, Mott Door's book. We've been seeing Puddin beating up on EG and all that. We've been seeing Oven now. Like, you know, different things. Different different things, you know what I mean? Um, and in this cover story, we got Oven with Mott Door's book yet again. You know what I'm saying? Yet again. And the chapter starts off with <laughs> kind of where we left off at. Kato looking crazy, bro. I'm not going to lie, Kata was mad tight at the CP0 member, and rightfully so, bro. He's having reminiscent PTSD of the time where, you know, this whole thing happened with Odin, where the old hag got involved, Odin got sidetracked by Kaido, and that's the reason why he lost that fight, you know, decidedly so. He still killed Odin, so <laughs> it's like he's not going to not capitalize on it, but he is upset that you know he got to hit luffy this way even though i think luffy was losing in my opinion before that but that that's just you know how i took it anyways everybody is kind of realizing now that luffy is knocked out bro even kaido says it luffy's voice it's it's gone and we got a narrator telling us straight up that kaido is the victor so kaido has won it says Skull Dome Rooftop Battle Victor Kaido of the Beast, man. You got the CP0 member. He tilting his hat out here. <laughs> you got the fedora tilted like Michael Jackson and, and Smooth Criminal. Like, bro, trying to be Chris Brown with it real quick. Be real smooth with the hat. Like, because he know what's coming next, bro. He knows what's coming next. This man Kaido says, do you know what you've done? He is tight. Tight. And then we just see a big crash on top of the skull. So I'm pretty sure, you know, based on what we see, Kaido's over top of him with the, the big club. And uh, I don't know, man. I don't know if the CP0 member made it out of that, bro. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. He kind of, he might have, he might have put him six feet deep. You know what I'm saying? Now he's six. You know what I'm saying? Now he's CP negative six. <laughs> yeah, I ain't going to lie. So all the fighters looking, they're amazed at what's going on. We got Kawamatsu, bro. Kawamatsu's talking. It's Kawamatsu sign. The ceiling's coming down. So they're talking to Kawamatsu. He says, thousands of our comrades are still in there. If only we weren't up in the sky. There's no water around here, bro. So there's fire everywhere. They're basically trying to survive this whole flame thing. Um, you know, Fuko, um, Rizo, they had they fight. You know, the, the, everything's been on fire. And that's kind of what they're dealing with now. But there's no water where they're at. So they're trying to find a way to get out of the situation that they're in. We can't do anything to quell these flames. You feel me? Like, they, they really don't have nothing to put it out. Now, maybe Marco could come help. I know Marco has, like, the special flame properties. He can, like, kind of nullify flames. But I don't know if that works on all flames that aren't the Phoenix flames or if they have to be, like, some sort of evil flames. And that's why I work with Prometheus. I'm not sure. I honestly don't know. But Kaido shows up, bro. He's talking heavy, bro. He's like, look, man, bring Momonosuke to me. Tell him to surrender. And this can be over with. But everybody else that doesn't surrender, everybody else that doesn't join my side, y'all are going to be slaves. I'm going to turn this country into a weapons factory. Y'all are going to work until you're tired. And then when you're tired, you're going to die. And that's going to be your life, bro. Kaido was talking heavy 
and he's giving me big villain vibes bro every chapter Kaido is getting more and more interesting to me bro literally every chapter bro it, it, it's it's oh man it's astounding it, it's it's astounding bro now i don't have him as high as like i would say uh dolphy on my list maybe not even croc yet but like he's he's making it up there bro now of course nami's talking crazy we got her you know marco some of the other fighters samurais they're all around but she's calling him a liar man chopper's crying usab's there he's upset marco's telling nami to calm down you know what i'm saying like chill and kato says so some still won't let their spirits break bro uses the boro breath of course you know marco showing love he's blocking it the boro breath is mad fodder that's a fodder attack bro i'm gonna be honest bro anybody could block it nami might have been over but i'm just kidding i'm kidding <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding but he's yelling out, telling them what's going to happen. Like, Onigashima is going to land on the flower capital. Things are going to go this way. And if you don't bring Momonosuke here, all of y'all are going to be slaves. Bring him here and the war can be over. I'm like, oh, man. He's basically telling them straight up to their face. This is not going to end until Momonosuke comes and surrenders. And at this point, I'm like, man, Momonosuke might actually have to give up, bro. Because I don't know what's going on. Now, Kid and Law, though, they're here. Let's talk about them for a second. Now, Kid and Law... They don't have a lot of energy, but they're at the point where they're like, man, look, man, Luffy is down. You know, it might have been false hope. This is the reality we're living in. Law is like, man, you know, I don't know. But Kid is not giving up. He's like, look, man, giving up is not an option. I'm not going to lay here and die. I'm not going to surrender. So, you know, respect the kid, bro. Y'all know how I feel about Kid, bro. I really just don't be caring about his character like that. But I got to give, got to give kid you know his respect in his chapter review bro he's not going to give up he looks like he wants to get up and i mean hey i don't know what he could do against kaido but you know maybe him and law can help somehow i mean it looks like they're going to try at least to give it a go man it, you know the fodder's talking crazy to him like yeah y'all be big mom but we always had kaido so you know that's all that matters and they're talking crazy bro but kid and law look like they're about to get up man they look like they about to get back into this action so i'm not gonna lie bro it, it might be one of those situations where they don't have a lot of energy but they're up now so they're definitely going to try to do something, bro. But big respect to Kid in this chapter. I'm not going to lie, bro. You know, you know, that's coming from an unbiased place. If I'm giving Kid credit, come on, man. You know, it's, you know, it's, you know, it's real. <laughs> you know, it's real. I think Nami and Kaido's conversation was really cool, bro. Um, Nami always believes in Luffy, though, man, all the time. And I think that that's so special that they share that bond, you know, ever since, you know, he put the straw hat on her head and helped her in Arlong Park, bro, like, nami has been such a luffy advocate for you know good reason there's no way luffy's dead no way he's knocked out and it's sad man it's sad but uh hopefully luffy you know do, do his, does his thing you know so yamato though and momonosuke they're talking yamato's like look momo we cannot surrender we're gonna have to go do what we gotta do bro there's no way that this can happen you know, at first when I saw the panels, I thought it was uh, Kaido talking to Yamato. I forgot that Momo got aged up and he's a dragon now. But they're having this whole conversation. And he's like, look, man, Yamato's telling him, like, look, we just going to have to die together, bro. Like, we're not giving up to Kaido. Like, that's not something we're going to do. Momo's like, man, I don't know. We might have to. You feel me? Like, I ain't going to lie, bro. It's interesting to see Momonosuke's perspective here, though, because it's like, he talks so heavy about getting out of shadow of his father, but I think he's so wrapped up in thinking about the people of Wano that he's like, maybe if I give myself up, maybe if I surrender, I can help them out in that way, you know? So it's sad, bro, but we got to talk about the ending, bro. We got to talk about the ending, bro, because this, this is crazy. So Luffy's knocked out, eyes black. Zunisha is talking. Zunisha says, I can hear the drums of liberation. This is the first time in 800 years he is here without a doubt. Momo says, who is? She says, Joy Boy, he has returned. And then we see Luffy and it looks like he's melting and we see Grin and he's got this like grimace, like real crazy smirk on his face. I don't know if Joy Boy is reincarnated, if Joy Boy is gonna possess him. 
if his devil fruit is finally awakening i don't know what is happening right now but this is huge bro whatever happens in the next like four to five chapters is going to be some of the craziest stuff to ever happen in one piece bro when we get this in the anime oh my god y'all i can't lie bro but we can't make no more naruto jokes man you know what i'm saying uh i think that it's fleshed out better and explained better in one piece than naruto but that's just my opinion if it is a resurrection but this chapter is insane bro this is a 10 out of 10 chapter just because of the ending it is what it is but i want to know what all of you think so make sure that you comment down below let me know what you think of the chapter what your rating is also make sure that you go in the pinned comment and join the discord for the chapter link and as always i hope you all are staying safe and healthy during these trying times this has been sensei inc and i will see you all in the next video